What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here, and I'm going to say outright up front that I am not going to be buying the season pass for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And I'm going to explain my reason why here in this video covering the Black Ops 3 Salvation DLC. Not really covering because, as you know, Chaos, T. Martin, Drifter, all the uh, big YouTubers got flown out when they did COD XP and got to play on the, on the multiplayer maps. So there really isn't much else to see, but I want to give my opinion uh, on these maps, you know, my honest thoughts and about Infinite Warfare more leading into because this is the last DLC for Black Ops 3. And it is really amazing, in my own personal opinion, uh, how far we've come into the life cycle of Black Ops 3, and now we're going to be moving on to a new game. More importantly, I believe more people are more excited for Modern Warfare Remastered, but either way, whichever game you decide to play first or like more, whether that's Infinite Warfare or Modern Warfare Remastered, uh, that will be up to you. But we, either way, we are moving on to a new game, and I am not going to be buying the Season Pass, and uh, here's why, essentially. Here's the DLC gameplay, and also so another thing that I'd like to say before I get into the maps and, and other things that I'd like to talk about in this specific video is that uh, we don't yet know, obviously, what DLC 1 is going to be for Infinite Warfare that's going to be happening next year. So we don't know exactly what's going to be in the DLC, but Zombies in Spaceland still looks cool to me. Personally, I know a lot of people just are turned off by it, but I personally like it. So maybe, depending on how I like the game mode, Zombies in Spaceland, maybe I'll get the season pass just for that game mode. But for the multiplayer maps, absolutely not. So the question that I want to ask first is... When was the last time you have actually enjoyed a map, a DLC map, so much that it just stuck with you in your mind? For me, that answer would be Grind in Black Ops 2. Grind was one of the best maps in Black Ops 2's life cycle, and that was a DLC map. It could be better than some of the stock maps. Like, Grind is definitely better than Aftermath or Drone or something like that. So... Uh, that is my own personal opinion on what was the best DLC map to come out recently as far as in some recent Call of Duties. But what are some memorable DLC maps that you can honestly think of at the top of your head that were really, really good, excellent maps that were even better than the stock maps? For me, that's really hard to come up with. And with Infinite Warfare and even for Call of Duty Ghosts, I don't remember. I mean, I know that they had shipment in Call of Duty Ghosts, which they completely ruined from the original shipment, which I'm not going to get into. But they had, you know, they had some fun DLC maps. The DLC DLC maps kept or honestly kept ghosts going because otherwise the stock maps really were garbage in ghosts but uh, either way the DLC maps were still not all that excellent and you're spending $15 just to get DLC maps uh, yeah and you got the uh, the what's it called the survival mode or the, the the alien mode extinction in ghosts that's what you had and you got like the extra map or whatever for it I wasn't really a big extinction fan so I really didn't know about that but uh, here we're getting Zombies in Spaceland, and that's really the only reason why I would even think of considering buying a Season Pass. But for the multiplayer, I'm not even going... Right now, I only pre-ordered the Legacy Edition, uh, which doesn't even come with the Season Pass. It only comes with Modern Warfare Remastered, and I don't plan on getting the Season Pass because the multiplayer maps aren't really that good is essentially what I'm trying to say. And uh, I'll basically go over my thoughts on Black Ops 3's DLC first, and then I'll get more into everything later. So basically, of course, Black Ops 3's DLC for Salvation is on PS4 first. It came out today at 1 p.m. EST my time. Now, I don't really want to talk about my issues that I've had all throughout today, but I'll touch upon it minorly here within this video. So, it came out at 1 p.m. EST, that's 10 a.m. Uh, PST, so EST is 1 p.m., and uh, and for me, that's really, really late. That's like in, well, in the afternoon, it's like right at the afternoon time, but according to when the other DLCs, the other three DLCs for Black Ops 3 came out, it was really, really, they used to be really, really early in the morning, so I would go on, get some gameplay, and then I'd have some gameplay to use, but here I had to wait all day to play these DLC maps, and even at that point, it wasn't even at 1 p.m. because the update didn't even come out at 1 p.m. I'd wait another hour to get the update, then I had to download the update and play the DLC maps. 
Now, of course, you know, th this is on PS4 because PS4 gets the maps first. And honestly, like, I pre-ordered uh, Infinite Warfare, the Legacy Edition, on both my Xbox One and my PS4. And the reason I, I did that is just because I wanted to really get into more on PS4 because, of course, you know, Infinite Warfare and PS4 and it's uh, Call of Duty's basically migrated over to the PlayStation 4. Um, but I just, I can't see myself just only playing Call of Duty on PS4. Originally, that's what I was going to do. I was going to, you know, say, oh, I'm going to not play it on Xbox a lot. I mean, maybe I'll still get the game, but I'm not going to play it a lot. I wanted to play it more on PS4. But there's just some problems with the PS4 that I'm personally having that I don't know if any of you are having as well. I mean, mo more of it is more on the side of content creators because for the general consumer... I don't really feel like this would be much of a problem, but anyways, my headset doesn't isn't really compatible with the PS4, so I can't record at the same time that I'm playing, so I had to go into theater mode to get these gameplays, which is why some of the gameplays are cut off, <clears throat> like the micro gameplay that you're about to see uh, somewhere in this video. Um, also, the download speed on PS4, I don't know what the hell the problem is on my Xbox. I have the same wired connection going to my PlayStation 4. It works the same. It literally, it's the same connection. It's not like I'm using a different modem or router to connect anything. And the PS4 downloads way, way, way noticeably slower than the Xbox. And that's just must be from these PS4 servers, or the PlayStation servers versus the Xbox servers. For example, on Black Ops 3... On my Xbox One, it will take me about 15 minutes to download a DLC, maybe 5 minutes to download a game update, if that. But on the PS4, it takes me like a half an hour to download a game update, no joke. And it takes me about an hour to an hour and a half to maybe even two hours to download a DLC for the game. And that's just completely outrageous, and I have some of the best internet in my own area, so it's not like my internet's bad. It's a wired connection. It's the same wired connection to both consoles, so I really don't know. That's just one thing that I have with the PS4. And the controller, I just prefer the Xbox controller better over PlayStation. That's just, I mean, I'm not trying to compare the two consoles now, but it just is what it is, and I tried to get into PS4, and I will be playing PS4, but I just can't make it my main console because I don't have what I need to have like I do on my Xbox, so that's just that, but anyways, getting into the maps now, because I know that's what probably most of you are here for and talking more about Infinite Warfare... Rupture. Let's talk about Rupture first. So, Rupture they added in these new battle mechs, sort of like World at War had with the tanks on outskirts, because this is obviously the remake map from World at War, and this map plays like utter shit. It is garbage, in my own opinion, because, well, first of all, the battle mechs ruin the, the whole gameplay experience. The map is way too big. The battle mechs suck in general. Uh, so, if they were going to have battle mechs, I would say go out and make them go all out and make them really good, but they, they just really don't, they're not really good at all, they suck, and the map itself is way too big, there's a lot of, like, flanking, like, areas, there's a lot of, like, open areas, I just don't like this map at all, I know some people might like it just because it's from World at War, and it has some of the same stuff, but it, it honestly did not, I mean, I played World at War, and I played Outskirts, it does not look like this at all, it doesn't play very good at all either, so that's why it's number four, in my spot. Now, number three is Outlaw, the Standoff remake. How could Standoff be a bad map? Standoff was one of the greatest maps in Black Ops 2, but they ruined it here. Empire is from DLC 3, of course, and that, I think, was one of the best DLC maps. Now, Empire, you might think, oh, well, why wouldn't you buy the DLC if you wanted Empire? Why wouldn't you buy the Season Pass? Well, Empire was a map from Black Ops 2, so the remake maps don't really count in my own eyes. Like, Grind itself was a completely new map. That's why a lot of people remembered it and enjoyed it. Empire is a really good map, but of course it is a remake, but the map plays similar to Raid from Black Ops 2, and it has an awesome feeling on pretty much any game mode. However, Outlaw, the spawns, first of all, the spawns on Outlaw suck. They need to be reworked. They are terrible. I spawn in, and I'm getting shot at. That should not happen. This is Black Ops 3's the end of its life cycle. I should not spawn in and be shot at, and the DLC should have been looked at before uh, that happened. And the color scheme on Outlaw fits very, very well, I should say, with the old Western theme that Outlaw has, right? I mean, it looked, the map itself looks very stunning. The problem with the color scheme is that with the sunset going down, I can't really see, in my own personal eyes and opinion, that I can't really see the enemies too well. Most of the times, they're either camping in a shady spot, and there's a lot of shady spots since the sunset is going down. It's not straight up like it was on the standoff in Black Ops 2. I don't know. There's just, and plus, 
else. You know, the snipers obviously don't work the same, which is a good thing in Black Ops 3, but the game, I don't really feel like it plays a lot like the one from Black Ops 2. It's a very different play style because, of course, we have these new movement systems. The map isn't terrible, but I just feel like the spawns could be reworked and then maybe it would be a better map. Also, I didn't really have that great of teammates, so that could also have affected the reason why I didn't really enjoy Outlaw as much as I thought. Getting on to my third, my uh, second favorite map actually is Micro. Now Micro is looks like one of the coolest maps. It plays okay. It doesn't really have the awesome play style. And here's where the gameplay cuts short because of course Black Ops 3's theater mode does not work uh, more than halfway through Black Ops 3's life cycle. And apparently it just decided to cut off the gameplay randomly. But Micro is a pretty good map. I love the content and detail that the map has. It is by far one of the most detailed Call of Duty maps in Call of Duty history. And it plays pretty good too. It doesn't play the best though, so that's why I put it at my number two spot in terms of the DLC, uh, DLC 4, and Citadel is my uh, number one spot. This map plays very good. It doesn't look as good as Micro, but the fact that it plays very, very good, and I've only played Domination on it, but it really looks like a, an even-sized map that it would play very good on any game mode. That's why I put Citadel on top. It is a really good designed map, but the thing that I really don't understand is Drifter said that DLC 4 had some of the best maps, and it's sad that the game, or the DLC had to come out at the end of the game's life cycle, I really don't agree with that. Uh, Rupture is a terrible map. I don't think that that map is good at all in any aspects. Outlaw could be a good map if the spawns were fixed. Micro and Citadel are really the only awesome ones within the pack, in my own personal opinion. Outlaw, like I said, it could be good, but I don't think that it, all in all, I think this DLC ties up with DLC 3. I mean, we got Raid, which was amazing in DLC 3. So, I don't know where, I mean, we obviously all have our different opinions, but I really just, that's just my opinions on the map packs, but you can let me know down below. So now, having talked about the Black Ops 3 DLC 4 map pack and saying goodbye to Treyarch, I mean, even through all the bugs and glitches and bad spawns and all this and that that we've been through in Black Ops 3, it's been a fun year in Black Ops 3, and I really did enjoy uh, playing Black Ops 3. I don't know what Infinite Warfare is going to put up with, that's why I'm saying this now, but getting into the season pass, right... So like I mentioned before, the, all of these maps, you know, in DLC 4, I mean, even with Citadel being, I think, in my own personal opinion, a very, very good map, is Citadel going to be one of the greatest maps in Call of Duty history, like somewhat like Grind was, like how we remember Grind from Black Ops 2? I don't know, we'll have to see as time goes on. But generally considered, DLC maps are not what people remember. So I just don't see a point in getting the season pass. Now, like I said, for Zombies in Spaceland, depending on how it looks going on into the game's life cycle, I might pick up the season pass, but, um... Uh like, as as of right now, I don't see a point in picking up the Season Pass because I don't even know how Infinite Warfare is going to be. Maybe down the line I might enjoy Infinite Warfare and I want to play more Zombies in Spaceland, but definitely for the multiplayer maps, it does not seem like it is worth it. So that's just my own personal opinion, but you can let me know your thoughts on everything that I mentioned in this commentary all down below. And also another thing, like I mentioned before, I don't mean to pick apart PlayStation and versus Xbox. I, I hate doing that. But it's just my own personal problems that I do not enjoy PlayStation as much as Xbox. That is just, I've been, I've been playing on Xbox for so long, and it's just, it, Xbox for me just works. And why change what already works? That's how I feel. I, I personally would have liked it if the DLC came out both times for both consoles to make everybody happy. But that is just not the case. And the whole reason, by the way, that I got a PS4 anyways was for some PS4 exclusives. I didn't get it just because the DLC came out uh, on Black Ops 3 or for PS4 first. That's just uh, That just was a side effect, I guess you could say, of what happened when I got the PS4. Um, so, you know, I mean, the, the PS4 is a very powerful console, it even beats out Xbox in some terms of respects, but from the way that I like to use it, and how my headset isn't really compatible, and how I'd have to get another headset, and, uh, just all the little minor things that I would have to do to make PlayStation as I have my Xbox set up right now, it's just, uh, that's just my own personal opinion, but, you know, I, I think I'm just going on too long now, and you know what I'm trying to say, but let me know down below, are you going to be picking up a season pass for Infinite Warfare, because I I sure as hell I'm not as of this moment. Like I said, Zombies in Spaceland, we don't know. Just to make it cheaper for myself, depending on how that game mode is, we don't know. But of course, we have Modern Warfare Remaster coming out, and they even said that they're going to be making some sort of 
uh, more DLC for Modern Warfare Remastered as the game comes out, whether that be the variety map pack from COD 4, implementing the other four maps in, we really don't know, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out uh, come November 4th and moving on into next year. So that's it. That's my review on Black Ops 3's DLC 4, uh, ending Black Ops 3's life cycle, Infinite Warfare, the season pass, the Xbox and the PlayStation, all of it combined. It's a pretty long video, but I hope you did enjoy it. I'll see you on the next one. This is Ninja Geek. I am out, and peace.